Did you see this during the live event? Guys, look, it's the cat from GU. It's the one who gives the Deviant or Apex monster tickets. Is this it? Are we finally getting the Apex armor sets? We already have a new blacksmith, Mineo, that surpassed Hamon in Kamura. No, wait, sorry. It's probably just a male cat for Elgato. <laughs> but what if Sunbreak does have craftable armor sets? What would it look like? What kind of skills does each armor set have? If you've started out your Monster Hunter journey in Monster Hunter World or in Monster Hunter Rise, back then, in Monster Hunter Generation or Generations Ultimate, Apex monsters are known as Deviants. To unlock them, we first have to hunt down their normal version in the Gathering Hub. After hunting the monster, you would unlock the special quest that requires the tickets to hunt down the Deviants. Each monster has its own special armor and weapons, which are pretty powerful. But for now, we're just gonna talk about the armor. I just wanna let you know that the Apex monsters looks different from their Deviant version. It would reflect on how the armor would look like, but I thought I'd show it anyway. Let's begin with Apex Arzeros, also known as the Red Helm Arzeros. Here's how the armor looks like. It has that Rockstar vibe to it. I've seen some players use this as their layered armor. and. Here are the skills of the armor set. Not the kind of armor set I'd try to grind back then, but if let's say this armor set returns in Sunbreak and you can slot in some decorations, like a few offensive skills, I'd pick this up for my bow. Next up, we have Apex Rathian, which was called Dread Queen Rathian. Now personally, I like the design of the armor. I think it matches the theme of Sunbreak. Here are the skills of the armor set. Pro Herbology is basically a skill. When you eat herbs, you will recover more health than usual. This armor is good for inflicting status while also healing everyone in the group. Next up, we also have Apex Mizutsune, which was called Soul Seer Mizutsune. Cool monster name, sounds like a reaper. If I were to pick which Apex or Deviant armor to grind first, that's not for Great Sword, I would go for this. Here's what it looks like and the skills. I think it's a well-rounded armor with great offensive skills plus defensive skills. All it needs is a good talisman like crit boost and a high affinity weapon. By the way, if this video gets 500 likes, I'll do a follow-up video about their weapons, both Blade Master and Range weapons. Some of them are quite busted. <laughs> Anyway, now let's get into Apex Rathalos armor set, which is called Red King Rathalos. Dude, oh my god, I remember starting out and almost every lobby that I joined had this armor set equipped. So this is the armor and check out the skills right here. What a steal. It's another one of those well-rounded armor with great offensive skills plus comfy armor skills. It's a general armor to use for any kind of hunt. Speaking of armor skills, I have never mentioned about decoration slots. Well, that's because we don't have any. Let's be real here. Some of these sets have odd skill combinations, but they're not bad if we can customize them a bit. If these armor sets do make a return in Sunbreak, I wish we can slot in some decorations or something, or I don't know. What do you guys think? We might have a better idea, but who knows? They might change how these armor skills would be in Sunbreak. Let's move on. Next, we have Apex Zinogre's armor set, which was called Thunderlord Zinogre. Here's how the armor set looks like, and these are the skills. Friends Frenzy Resistance is a nice skill to have when you're hunting down Gormagala. It's a monster we don't have yet in Sunbreak as of this recording, so we're not sure if this monster is coming back. Anyhow, it's a good armor set for stamina hungry weapons with a bit of negative affinity and high amount of raw. Don't go just yet, because next we have Apex Diablos, also known as Bloodbath Diablos. Such a menacing name for a monster, I had a ton of fun hunting this monster down. And the armor set is super unique compared with the rest. Here's what it looks like, and these are the skills. Sheesh! Oh man, look at that Demon Lord outfit. So close to that Ein's look. Negative grit? Oh, that sounds bad. But let me tell you, it has 25% chance to activate on a negative crit, dealing 200% damage. The only problem with this skill is the proc rate is too low. Oftentimes, you're sacrificing your overall damage throughout your hunt because of the negative crit. If they could change this in some way, like increasing the chance, it would likely be viable in hunts. And it would add another variety other than just having full crit boost builds. <laughs> Imagine telling your friend like, oh yeah, 
I have a full negative affinity set. Did you know that we already have this skill in Rise? But as a Rampage skill, it's in one of the negative affinity weapons such as Cheatodus and Tigrex. The skill is called Brutal Strike. Composed is a skill only tied down to Generation's ultimate hunter styles and weapon art gauges. Maybe this will just translate as to Werebug Whisper. I've thought of adding Apex Shogun Xanatar, also known as Rust Razor. It's not yet confirmed. Here's what it looks like and the armor skills. Check out these sets. You have dual blades built in your armor set. Okay, just kidding. Blade scale hone is basically if you evade five times, it would restore five units of sharpness. For bows, it would turn close range coating into power coating. For bow guns, I'm not too sure about this, but I think it's spare shot, but I could be wrong. Most of the skills is on the defensive side, but definitely good if you can slot in some offensive decorations in Sunbreak. Lastly, we have Apex Astalos armor set, also known as Bolt Reaver Astalos. I also like the look of this armor, some people don't, and the skills, it's fairly good. Here's how it looks like and the armor skills. Endurance is a skill only tied down to Generations Hunter style and weapon art gauges. Maybe this could translate as to Wirebug Whisper. Vault is a skill that increases aerial attacks. Similar with the normal Astalos, this one is nice to use for fast hitting weapons. You know, most of these armor sets are good. Unfortunately, they're just outclassed by many mixed armor sets. Even if that's the case, I actually like it that way. I would rather see everyone using different armor sets than an overpowered armor that makes every other armor not worth getting anymore. It also adds more reasons to play the game. If ever they do make a return in Sunbreak, I hope the grinding system isn't as bad as back then. Just like what I think about their new map in Sunbreak. Check out this next video as I explain how Sunbreak's new map could potentially affect the future of Monster Hunter maps. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.